Hi, I'm uh, Nick Taylor from Newcastle University. So I'm presenting uh, the Reappear project, or to give it its full title, the Reappearing Computer. So some of you will immediately recognise that as a reference to the Disappearing Computer, which is an idea that's existed uh, for a long time in Ubicon, the idea that as technology becomes more sophisticated and more integrated into our lives, uh, it will start to disappear into the fabric of day-to-day -day life and into the uh, everyday objects and products that we own. Um, and to some extent that has happened with IoT, but it's brought with it some interesting challenges around allowing people to understand how their devices are working, uh, what they're connecting to, what data they're collecting, what it's talking to, and to make sensible and informed decisions about the products that they buy, say, into their home. Um, so design has been kind of complicit in doing that, and I'll talk a little bit about how in a moment, uh, but in our project we're taking a design-led approach to thinking about how we can cause some of the features of connected technologies to reappear rather than disappear. Uh, so to give an example of what I mean by designing to disappear, uh, this is probably one of the most uh, common IoT devices uh, we see, a smart speaker. Um, but everything about this, from its name, smart speaker, to its design, the materials that it uses, it all emphasizes the speakeriness of it, the fact that it is a speaker or a harmless output device. Um, and by emphasizing that, it de-emphasizes the fact that it's also a sophisticated internet-connected microphone, which is probably the more interesting feature that this has. Um, thinking more generally, uh, so James Pierce and Carl DeSalvo had a term, happiness, that they used to refer to this kind of um, uh, aesthetic of, of soft edges and uh, gently glowing white lights and, and soft pinging noises that uh, a lot of modern technology has that it kind of uh, shields us from some of the complexity and, and cools us down and calms us down um, but also masks creepy vibes and lurking edge cases. So our response to this is to think about design patterns for how we can cause um, computation to reappear um, and, and to sort of re-emerge from these um, objects. Um, so when I say design pattern, I mean a kind of reusable template for a design that could be taken up by a designer and integrated into an existing product. Um, so I know this concept best from software engineering, which is in, in object-oriented programming to describe um, kind of certain configurations of, of software. Uh, but if you look further back, you can trace this idea back to architecture and, and urban planning um, and a kind of set of patterns that just from Alexander designed to, um, uh, to sort of achieve certain objectives in, in planning, say, uh, settlements. So before we can do that, um, we want to really gain some insights from users about what kind of things they might want to reappear, um, what they, they understand or don't understand about the technologies that they're using. Um, so the first stage of the project, we've designed um, what we're calling a data probe, which is a kind of little sensor platform that we're is out with some participants at the moment. Um, so this is a package of common sensors from connected devices that um, allows people to interrogate the kind of data that's being collected about them and, and around them on a day-to-day -day basis and to reflect on that in a kind of data mindfulness and think a little bit about the way that some of these technologies um, are working in a way that they might not have done before. Um, so we're going to have people working together and kind of going away each week and, and kind of carrying out some tasks with these devices and then coming back together um, to reflect on them and, and talk about their experiences. Um, and the idea is, is from that we hope to gain some kind of rich design insights that we'll use to feed into um, the, uh, the design patterns that we'll be generating later on in the project. After that we'll be working with industry partners to interpret that but we'll you know, be kind of uh, developing these design patterns but also developing a set of demonstrator prototypes that put them into action uh, and show what it might mean if those actually exist in the real world and, and how they might be put into use. So the idea is to demonstrate these concepts uh, in a way that, that would be easy for people to interpret and, and see as examples. Um, and as an idea of, of, of the kind of thing we hope to come out of this project, these are the two bits of work that we're particularly inspired by. So um, Bill Gaver and the Product Research Studio's um, Data Catcher, uh, which was a, a really nice connected product that you could use to kind of walk around the city and, and see data uh, around the areas you were passing through. Um, and scout by Mike Shorter in Uniform, which was a kind of mantelpiece device uh, that visualised data flows in your home and the way that, that uh, different uh, technologies were speaking to each other or, or, or to the outside world. Um, so, yeah, and uh, hopefully there will be a kind of nice set of things coming out of the project that we can take around to kind of exhibitions and events uh, in, in order to uh, communicate the design patterns that have come out of the project. Thank you very much.